that I need to tell you um, that landlords are actually liable um, and they have to comply with 150 different pieces of legislation. So it's, it's quite a hefty number and it's quite scary. And it's definitely scary as well if, you are, if you're doing it yourself. So what I thought I would do is I would just touch on four of those pieces of legislation this evening out of the 150, mostly because they're quite hot topics at the moment and they're the things that everybody's speaking about and they're certainly the, the conversations that we're having um, with Arla at the moment. Um, so one of them is the Immigration Act 2016, one of them's about council tax, um, another one is fixed penalty notices and banning orders and then we're going to talk about EPCs. So just really quickly about kind of all four of those subjects. So going on to council tax, which is a wee bit weird, I know, because it's not really legislation, but um, everybody just thinks that the, the tenants are fully um, liable for council tax. Um, and why wouldn't you? They're living in the property, they're liable for the council tax. But there actually has been some new rulings, um, and it's mostly to do with a case called um, Leeds Council versus Broadly. Um, and I've actually put those notes in the bag, so if you want to refer to that later, you can do. Um, and I won't go into it because it's really boring. Um, <laughs> but, but basically, um, if you are on a six month plus tenancy agreement, then the tenant is liable to pay the council tax, um, unless they're a student or unless they're um, uh, on benefits, then obviously they're exempt. Um, anything under a six month tenancy, so if they're on a rolling contract or a month month contract, pe a periodic contract, however you want to call it the landlord could be liable to pay the council tax. And this is because they're deeming any kind of periodic or rolling contract to be a one month contract. So it's less than the six month term um, that is the standard that they've got in place that you have to be in to, to be liable. So it means that landlords may be liable for council tax. And it actually just comes down to the wording in the tenancy agreement. So again, this is when I urge you to go back, have a look at your tenancy agreements so if you've got tenants that are in the property and they were in there for six months, 12 months and they're now on a rolling contract, you need to look at the terminology in your contract regarding the point where it says, after the fixed term, you will then go on to a month-to-month -month contract. It's that terminology that has to be specific um, to make you not liable. Um, I can provide it as well, so if you need any help or if you're worried about it, then just let me know and I can help you with that as well. So it is quite a new thing. Um, and it is because of this Leeds um, Council versus Broadley case that it's come up. Um, and it's also got to do with a super strike case that came up a few years ago. I don't know if anybody knows about that. But again, it was about um, periodic tenancies being one month tenancies. So it's very, very specific. But I'm just urging you to have a little look at your contracts, have a look at the wording, um, and then ask me about it. <laughs>